The sound of prayers filled the streets of Lakemba as tens of thousands of people gathered to mark Eid al -Attar. Morning prayers were followed by Imam's sermon. Politicians from both sides attended in a show of unity at a time of strained relations between Muslims and the wider community. Australians need to know that Muslims are not a threat. Muslims must acknowledge that our religion is being held hostage by a fringe of religious illiterates and zealous. The security presence had been strengthened for today's events after the mosque was among a number to receive threats in the wake of recent counter-terror raids. I am sure that from time to time you have to deal with the shouting of ignorant intolerance, the ugly face of racism and prejudice. It may have been a tough few weeks for Australia's Muslim community, but today it's a celebration. Known as the Feast of Sacrifice, Eid al Adha is the time for Muslims to come together and spend time with family. But not everyone was feeling goodwill. One heckler interrupting the Immigration Minister. Uh, to those who have had it, take it away. Take it away. And so it's important that as a community of faith today, we celebrate peace and all that those who would seek to have that peace restored all around the world. But his was just one voice in a crowd of thousands who listened peacefully. There's growing frustration for members of the Muslim community who found themselves increasingly targeted, from debate on the so-called burqa ban in Parliament House to reports of attacks on women wearing the hijab in public places. Muslims are increasingly seen as the threat from within. The outsiders living amongst us, we need to dig deep for inspiration to rekindle and strengthen our ties and this cannot be done by giving legitimacy to cliches and stereotypes of one another. To create not Team Australia, but as Samir puts it, Family Australia. Brianna Roberts, SBS World News.